And tonight's interview is with the one, the only, Brett Palmer from YouTube. How are you doing tonight, Brett? Yay! Oh, yeah. Run of applause, run of applause. <laughs> I'm doing fine, Pat. Oh, great. Thank you. And this is your maiden voyage into any podcast out there. And <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, I, uh, I like working with a script. Uh, mm -hmm. That I write, and and so this is this is really new territory for me, and so it's it, it was rather uncomfortable, but I'm having I'm having a blast. So. Oh, great! Yeah, that's just exactly how we like it because we we get we 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 lure people in with a little sausage and cheese. And then, <laughs> sausage. And get, what is it with you people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, only I'm only Packers is little. Voice of estrogen here. I'm sorry, Brett. There's only so much I can do. No, I, I, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have some I have some basic questions, um, uh, and then after I get done with mine, I'll I'll turn them over to everybody else there. Mm -hmm. uh, do you, do you have or were you or are you religious? Obviously, you're not religious, but oh. were you religious, or and how did you come to your non-belief? Uh, religious hardly covers what I was, um, because it, 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 the, the the way that the being a Bible skeptic. You guys don't see behind the scenes, but I do this. I mean, I may put out a video every, you know, five, four months now. I don't mm -hmm. do as many, but I'm doing this every day. Every single day, this is something that I think about, I work on. I'm either reading something about it. I, I don't read any uh, fiction books. Everything I do is nonfiction. I'm reading uh, Bart Arman's latest right now, plus another book about the historical David. They're both on my, on my uh, nightstand right now, and I'm reading both of them. But that, that's all I read about. That's all I do. Um, it, it, it consumes me uh, to be a Bible skeptic. Wow. But, but, but what I was before was a Bible believer just as much. So, and it consumed me just as much then. But I, I ran a gamut of belief, anywhere from traditional all the way into New Age kind of belief systems. I mean, if it was spiritual and supernatural, I believed it. Um, so it, 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 the person that I am today is nothing like the person I was 20, 30 years ago. Um, so you're uh, a bigger believer. What, what, do, what religion did you follow when you were a believer? Well, that, that was, I, well, I was Christian. You know, when, when, when I was a Christian, I was a Christian. And, um, uh, but then, I, I mean, I fell in with everything. I, I mean, I, I was into, I, I had dreams when I was a kid. I, I don't even know if I should go into this, but I had dreams when I was a kid. There, I had three dreams where Jesus came to me and told me who I was going to be in the future, and I, wow. I literally believed into this stuff. I, 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 you know, I was going to be this great prophet in that in the year 2000, there was going to be this great uh, polar shift or, or uh, pole shift, and I would be up in Boulder, Colorado, and I'd be leading people like a Stephen King novel. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you, you just, I was really just, follow me. <laughs> So, yeah, I was really into all this stuff, you know, and then I got into past lives and I was, I mean, you, you name it, I was into it, so. <laughs> hey, no, I actually, I, I understand about that. When I was younger, I also had dreams like that, too, that's like, oh. so I, I understand all that. And they, and they, they say, I, I, I was talking to somebody, say, oh, yeah, no, that's in the Bible because people have dreams and things like that. It's like. Oh yeah, so I I felt completely justified by it's like oh crazy, you know, yeah. But like, did, you, did you do what I did, and that was at the local at at the community swimming pool. I kept I, I would repeat in my mind if if I had the faith of a mustard seed, and I would try to step off on and walk across the water in the swimming pool so I could show everybody that I really was the chosen one. I oh mean, my no no. I, well, I, I just would just run. Start, man. I I just believed all of it. I thought it was all true, and I didn't have any reason to doubt it. Except I kept hitting the bottom of the pool every time I walked off. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't believe enough. Fuck! I, mean, I can do it again. Say, the skeptic was born. So, <laughs> see that maybe that's what we need to do. We gotta start taking more people out to the pools, and then say, "Okay, if you think you really believe, and you really believe in your God, you can walk on water." And right. and then I guess well, maybe we can get a little bit more people to deconvert at that point. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I swear that planted a seed because I remember it to this day, and I was I was fairly young, but it's something that stuck with me. Was I was perplexed that it didn't work. I was genuinely couldn't figure it out. So. Yes, yeah, and of course, like all good little Christian boys, I blamed myself. It couldn't have been God; it was me. No, yeah, that, oh yeah, I've heard that one too. It's like, oh, well, it was my fault. I didn't have enough faith. That's right. 
Yeah, I, I hear that a lot, actually. One of my other next questions is, what inspires you to do some of your videos? You, you've been doing this long, you did this long Bible series. You've been taking a, a little, well, you said a break. You haven't done one in a while. Um, and I look forward to your next one. I, 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 I always check your channels. Like, did he, has he made anything new? What well, inspired what, some of this? Well, what you got, what, what you guys say taking a break mm -hmm. is, is no, I've been working on this video. I, oh yeah. I've got a five part series coming out on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's about, I, I think if you string all the parts together, it's going to be two hours or more. Wow. But I'm working on that since the last video came out. So I, it's not that I haven't been working or doing anything. Ah. You, guys, you guys don't see the fruits of my labor until I'm finished. But, right. But what inspires me to do it or, or what, what, what gets me to do these things. One, one, I, it's a creative outlet. I really enjoy it. Um, I, I like helping other people. I, I think other people that are struggling with, with, you know, coming out of religion, um, I like to help them. I've, mm -hmm. I've had people, you know, send me notes saying that my videos have helped them. And so yes. that, that, that alone is, is a reason to do it. But, um, what I'm really doing in my videos is I'm, I'm describing for others what it is that convince I, I don't want to say the word convinces but I'm gonna use it anyway what convinces me that these claims about the Bible are not true what why don't I buy this what, what is it about what they just told me or what this um, apologist says about this verse or these things what is it about that that I don't buy you, you can really get a taste of that in my um, top 10 failed reasons for God's existence mm -hmm. instead Bob Duco you know, what he would say something and I'd say okay well this is the reason why I don't buy it right you know, and I was never trying to prove God doesn't exist. I mean, that's not my burden. I was just saying, this is why you fail with me. And that's right. what most videos are. Yeah, no, I was just saying that it, for us, uh, uh, us out here, it, it looks like you're taking a break, but I, <laughs> I know that you're not. You're, you're actually behind the scenes. You know, I got to paste this, cut this, throw throw this on top of there. Boom, 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 you know. There's there's, there's that, but and not to, not to sound too... You know, over the top, but I do spend a lot of time. Oh, this over is a, at this is back to folks. Everything's over the top. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there, there's a, over here in Littleton. There's a there's the Denver Seminary, which is a very conservative um, seminary for I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure who runs it, but you know the the uh, Josh McDowell type people are there, mm. and uh, I I spend an inordinate amount of time in their library going through books because they've actually got a, a fantastic library. And they don't know some of the bombs that are that are in there that actually expose what they believe in. Wow! But I spent a lot of time in their library reading, researching. You'll, you'll see some of that in this. You know what I what I discovered in my in this upcoming video series that I've got. But uh, excellent. Um, yeah, I just I spent a lot of time. You know, and then of course I've got the kids. I've got my dog. I've got work. You know, so those things come in and, and keep me from making videos fa as fast as I'd like to. But, right. but yeah, I, I, I try to spend a lot of time and try to cover these topics from top to bottom and really play the devil's advocate and try to figure out what is someone else, what would a believer argue against what I'm saying and try to anticipate that and then, and then answer that question because you know, I'm a skeptic of my own skepticism. You, you can't be a good skeptic if you're not skeptical over yourself as, as much mm -hmm. as you can be. Exactly, exactly. My next question here is, how do you go about producing your videos? How do you uh, record them, and how do you edit them, and what, do you, what kind of programs do you use to edit? I, yeah, I just use, uh, what is it, Sony Home Movie Studio, I think okay. is what it's called. And uh, um, it's like a $100 program. I want to get the Pro for 400 but I don't think it does that much more. But at any rate, I just use that, and it's more of a self-taught figuring out how – the program works watching mm -hmm. other people's videos i i also watch you know you watch documentaries on uh, on discovery channel or history channel or something like that and uh I'll, I'll pick up techniques watching them and go oh that was really cool i wonder if i could do that with my program and i'll figure out a way to do it ah. um so you know it's fun and i'll grab you know animation software or, or whatever and and draw pictures in it and and put those up if i need to and and you know search royalty free music and do you just do whatever I can it's very very creative um, and I, I just I, I love doing it because of that it's a creative outlet it's very artistic to me yes it is it, it they, they all your videos look very well my next question here is how did you get into, into making YouTube videos are there any other youtubers out there that you that inspired you to start doing your own videos um, well when I first started uh, you know Thunderfoot and and those guys were out there already 
and I was I was really really inspired by some of the stuff that they were doing. And I had a little website that a dirty little website that that had my written material on it. But um, you know, it's really hard to get people to come find a single website on the on the on you know online. So I decided when I first opened the channel, when I found out you could go to YouTube and open your own channel, was I was creating videos kind of like video essays that I would put up or 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 compliment something that I was that had put on my web page but I found I reached a lot more people a lot more quickly on YouTube and then I got a shout out by um oh, uh King Heathen I think was his name I I, I and forgive hmm. me if you're watching this uh and, and then Wildwood Claire Oh Wildwood Claire and uh Wildwood Claire is probably my biggest inspiration I absolutely love her videos and um, I'm glad she's back. She was she was getting a little down last week, and now she's back. Yeah, I heard but, that her computer crashed and died. Yep, and... yep, yep. And uh, so, so, you know, those folks became an inspiration to me. Uh, but um, as far as YouTubers are concerned, but then again, what really inspired me then again was just I love documentaries on television. So that was one way to um, uh, for me to produce something that I would want to watch mm -hmm. if I was sitting down in front of the TV. Oh, absolutely. When I, I, I sit down and watch your videos, I was like, I sit here and I like taking mental notes, go, okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, ooh, yeah, oh, okay, we're, I can use that next time. And then, then five minutes later, some of it I, I'll forget, but then some of it just sticks with me because that's just, my my brain is half Teflon, half half sticky tape. <laughs> <laughs> So some of it gets false in just the right spots, but you've helped me pick out certain points uh, I've used with other people. Well, and then they sit there and they go, uh, then they can't respond. You know, so. Well, so, you know, in, in the past, um, when I'm making these videos, it's it's I don't I don't want to say it's organic, but it, it's it just it's it flows. You get into kind of like a creative groove, and you and just things start to fall into place, right? Mm -hmm. So, in in the past, I would have said. Um, I was probably channeling some sort of, of long dead uh, video producer, and that's who's really doing the work. That's the kind of nut. <laughs> I so it, it, it's that kind of feeling that it, you're almost out. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I'll sometimes watch my videos after I predict, because I won't look at them again after I'm done with them. Really? I mean, you don't rewatch them later? Oh, on? God, no. Oh, shit. No, I've been with, <laughs> because I'm with them for so long, and then I set them out there, and I'm nervous as hell as to what the reception's going to be. And then, um, but I will watch occasionally. I'll watch something that I haven't watched in like a year or two, and wow. I'll be surprised. I'll go, "Hey, that was pretty damn good." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and then I'll realize I don't remember doing that. But then I think, well, I, I guess I'm doing a good job. So <laughs> yeah, I, no, I I completely empathize with that because when I I sit here and I go through and I do all the editing for the show and everything, and I I will I set it I I have to make sure it's downloaded so it downloads back to me so I know everybody else is going to be able to get it, and right. then. I put it on my iPhone, so along with all of my other podcasts, and I will listen to it later in the week, like the Friday before the show, if possible, or the next or the next week. But I I, I do listen to it, but I I late like wait a whole week, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, just just so, so you kind of understand again, a peek behind the curtain is this series that I created um, that'll be going up next week. Uh, I finished it over a week ago. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm working on another video, which is a much shorter one, probably like 10 minutes long, if, if that, oh. um, so that I can follow it up and keep things kind of moving along on my channel to keep people interested in it. But, but I'm letting it stew for a little bit so that I can rewatch it. And do I need to make any last minute changes to it because I've been so close to it? You got to mm -hmm. back off. Oh yeah, but I, and, 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 and part of the, part of me kind of regrets that because it's I think God, you know, you egoist, you egotist. What the fuck? It's just a YouTube video. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you worried so much about it? You know? There are children. They we want them to go out and to have a good time. Well, and, and I'm hoping that these videos, you know, outlast me. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. No, I I, I understand it completely because for my parents and whatnot, I have almost just barely some photographs. I do. This is one of the reasons why I do this show. So when I get older and I pass away, my kids will have something for their grandchildren. Or my grandchildren, rather, their children or whatever, too. I hope they're not having grandchildren at that age. But 
Well, and, I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking a little bigger than that. I'm thinking the world, man. I'm oh, the what? The world? You want the whole enchilada? All right, I want everybody to be watching. I want a hundred years from now for there to people, people to be looking at my videos and then, uh, you know, passing a plate around. There you go. <laughs> 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 no, I no, I completely agree with that. That's that's a great way of looking at it. What's another channel out there that you really enjoy, other than you know Pack and Pokes? At? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, fish I, sa- this is not played some Brett, of course. You know, <laughs> fish head salad reminded me of um, um, the living dinosaur. Uh, he hasn't produced anything in a long time. Yeah, I thought he had. Uh, he's decided he's going to take a break, and he's like st- shut his channel down. I thought I heard. Well, not shut his channel down, but he stopped making yeah, new content. Yeah. I, I absolutely love his stuff because his. I could never ever um, reproduce his sense of humor. I mean, that guy oh, yeah. is un unmatched he's so damn funny he is he really is and then he just he just shoots you right in the heart and then mm-hmm. uh, bod to bits i love the bits um oh. i love bod stuff mm-hmm. um, especially the way he uh just skewers roy uh, ray comfort oh god <laughs> I, anytime i see a bod to bit video i'm just tickled pink that you know he's produced something new yeah uh, I have to go back and see some of his older stuff because I, I didn't find out about him until a few months ago, I think, or before that. But I, and, it's funny. It's finding the time now, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the only other, you know, there's certain. I've been, I've been, I've been getting involved in watching this uh, in in a very voyeuristic, you know, kind of sick way. Is watching this Jason Burns drama playing out. I, I just recently discovered that Jason Burns character. Mm. And, uh, oh Jesus, he is just a piece of work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, anytime he puts up a video, it's like I, it's one of those love hate relationships. You just you got to watch it like a horrible train wreck. But yes, <laughs> you can't turn away. I mean, the guy is just horrible, but it, it, very entertaining. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. I have one other quick question here. Huh? How did you come up with the name for the Bible skeptic for the channel? I mean, you you know everybody's got their their own niche and how they decide. They was like, I'm gonna be you know like I said, mine's Packer pokes at, and then yeah. you know, and then there's the fish head salad, if, which I, I didn't get a chance to ask him that. I, I completely forgot, and <laughs> so I'm gonna have to have to ask well, him sometime. It was the name of my of my website. It was there was a website that I had, uh, thebibleskeptic.com. Oh. And then, but before that, I mean, how did I decide on that name? Um, it, it's it was too long ago. I, I don't remember. Other than that, that's pretty much. I mean, you, how could you get more descriptive than that? That's what I am. I'm a skeptic of the Bible, mm. right? So it's just it's just very descriptive of of who I am. I, I wasn't. I don't think I put that much creative, much creative thought into it. Ah, I I actually toiled over mine for like oh, about no. a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 uh, no, it just, it, it just, that's, it, it just seemed like that described what I was doing. Cause I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do, be skeptical of the Quran. I'm not going to. The Quran skeptic, get, that's the next project, yeah, right? <laughs> I will not get into theological discussions with people or, or doctrinal discussions about, well, what do you think? Do you, th- I don't get into that, that you've got to buy a bunch of crap before you get into that mm. I'm much more into, well, this is what it says. And I go back and say, well, does it really say that? Right. Or, you know, what is it in its original context? context or something like that so yeah exactly i don't know all that much about the quran myself i mean i just pick up pieces here and there because it it doesn't affect me here as much as you know christianity does so that's that's why i'm more pushing against christianity now i mean if it was the quran then we'd be most likely in the united states pushing against that yeah Yeah, that's it It's, it's a cultural thing i don't have you know i don't have muslims that come up and knock on my door and and ask me to you know talk about muhammad and and Allah and the Prophet and all. I just don't get that. Right. But I do get every single place I drive my car. I'm do I do see a church in every freaking corner, and they're right. all of them are saying something. And there's one out in the you know down the road. Yeah, you know, like I say, there's a seminary down here. I mean, they're everywhere. Right. So you know, I, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to go pull weeds that don't grow in my lawn. Right. Exactly. Weeds that grow in my lawn, and it, it's these guys. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna look at my neighbors like, yeah, you know what? I could mow. You. I'll, I'll have to pull your weeds out of your yard over there because they're they're bothering me over here. No, that's it's, that's somebody else's yard. Just don't don't fuck around with that. Let them right. deal with it. Yep. Doesn't matter how many weeds are in it. It's you just stick, stick around with your own lawn. You know those. The, that's why we get those uh those laws for like where your borders are and shit. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
All right, well, I am going to turn the questions over to my co-host now. So, Dave, you get to go first with your questions. All right. It, first off, I, I'm really impressed by the quality of your of your videos. They're they're pretty awesome. Oh, uh, thanks. So, good job, I guess. Just um, a guy in a basement, I guess <laughs> I'm just a guy in the basement, just goofing around. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so I, you know, I'm in Detroit. And so Bob Duco is oh, um, on my drive home every day. Mm. And, uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I listen to it. It's entertaining. And I've, I've uh, called in and they do a really, really good job of screening to the point where uh, oh. I've given up calling in because they ask you kind of what you're going to talk about. And I've gotten hung up on every time. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. So, so what drew you to actually going against Bob Duco and congrats on having him respond like that. That's and, and your that, video responding to him as well. But, but what drew you to Bob Duco in, in particular? You'll be surprised. It was a complete accident. Oh, I was looking like... for, I was looking for something to do, uh, in between a couple of projects that I was working on. And I had heard him on a Christian station out here in Denver where he's 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 got like a little I don't know a half an hour an hour it's show or something. It's not the same one you listen to. It's some nationally broadcast one, right. and um and I and I heard him you know and and he just sounded like a smug asshole. But 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 what what it wasn't his show that got me. It was the commercial that he had these top ten CDs that he was selling, and so I, I again I was just looking for something some filler material to make some videos about, and I happened to you know hear him on the way home. And so when I got home, it was fresh in my mind. I looked up Bob Duco Top Ten. Um, it pulled up those those CDs that he had, and and the top ten proofs for God's existence happened to be on some guy's blog or something like that, where he had he had loaded uploaded all the audio, and so it was available. So I was like, eh, hey, what the hell? I'll make a video about this. So I downloaded it. And I just did the videos. It it really wasn't intentional. It's like I'm going to go after this Bob Duco dick. I, that's not <laughs> what it was. It was just like, well, what the hell? Here's something I can do. And so I did, and it turns out to be the most popular series I've ever done. And I was like, wow, that, that was kind of wild. So what I'm looking to do now, and I made a video about it in December, but nobody's, nobody's been able to get this for me, and I'm just, I, I, I dread the thought of sending him 20 bucks. But I want to do his top 10 reasons the Bible is true. But I just can't, I can't fork over. I didn't, I didn't pay any money for that, that God series, right? That was already online. Mm -hmm. But um, and so I downloaded it for nothing. But uh, um, just the Bible me, series I want. But just just send me the name and I, well, I, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll check my sources. I have lots of sources. It's it's just called Bob, it's it's Bob Duco's top ten reasons the Bible is true. I think is what it is. Okay. Oh, well, I'll, it says I'll, we got to record it. I'll I'll have it and edit. Okay. Later. Yeah. If you can find I'll, that, I'd love to do a series on that because that 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 lines up even better with my channel than the than the God one. But oh, well, I'll see what I can do. I actually have uh, I, I've got friends who own that, so I can. Oh, there own. you go, there you go, Dave. Oh, Dave, oh, come, oh. Dave, come I, to the rescue. Man, I'm I'm in Detroit, man. That's what everyone around, all the Christians listen we'll to all the time. They, they, I mean, every time I get into some sort of theological debate with someone around here, they recommend. You know, have you ever listened to Bob Duco? Yeah, I listen to Bob Duco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, see, and in a past life, I would have said, "See, see, this works. Ask, and ye shall receive." Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have that, if you can get me that audio, I will. That will go straight up to the top of my to-do list. There you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that for you. I'll, I'll get that for you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and I, I thought that was funny the way he responded to me. I was just, I, I was so thrilled. I, I don't know how uh, a higher cloud I could have walked on after I found out he. I was so excited about that. So uh, and and it was fun just ripping him a new one. So again, <laughs> did you? The, I I got a question here real quick. The, that one guy there in the uh, the promo video I made for you. This, this guy, he's like, "Well, oh, God told Job about the lightning." And the, yeah, it's the information. Yeah, like I was like, "Oh my God, I can't believe you think this is information." It's like, "Oh, lightning." Yep. Oh. yep. <laughs> yep, that's that was me. I, the, you know, I believed all that crap too. I believed that, and and I also believed that the Atlanteans had special crystals that made them have flying machines. Wow, <laughs> I was I was gone, man. <laughs> Where's my flying machine? <laughs> oh, 
Yep. All right. Uh, I have I have another question. I I know you you've got disclaimers on your videos that say that you're not a uh, a scholar in Hebrew. No. Uh, how do you go about researching the Hebrew language to to find out what words are? I mean, what what resources do you use to do your research for that sort well, of stuff? Without getting into details like you know URLs or stuff, there there are websites that that have um, what's where I'm thinking of. Uh, Parallel translations. So you've got, ah, okay. you've got it in the parallel translations, and so you can you can compare them. And then you've got the um, uh, Strong's and Vines and different uh, books in which you can uh, pull up the basically their dictionaries, right? And you can look up what the word means. But when I really get myself into a pickle, and I need and I need to know what. Uh, a word you know would would mean or or if if I have a question about it if there's a nuance about a phrase or something like that, I will write to um, professors of Hebrew at different you know you know at, at at different universities or seminaries and get various opinions and um and that and, and so they'll they'll teach me what that means so I don't take their class but I will ask them about a word so for example when when I was uh you know, deep pantsing JP holding on that Elisha and the Bears issue with the uh Oh, I love that video. Uh, yeah, the little mm -hmm. the little children. Um he kept coming up trying to say they were basically, you know, hardened criminals and all that crap. And um uh you know, I went to I don't know, a, a half dozen scholars and asked them uh what these words how, how would they define them how you know because this, this is my understanding could it mean this could it mean and i would give them basically holdings definition and say of these nuances could it mean it and to a to a person and i mean i i went from everywhere from a guy from a baptist seminary to a guy who wrote a book on the hebrew language to people at you know yale and to a man they all said no, nah, it means what you say it means. <laughs> so, you know, and, <laughs> nice. and so that's how I look that stuff up. I, I, I get help and, and, you know, I just try to, you know, teach myself as much as I can. But I don't rely on my own knowledge. I, I try to get experts to tell me what, you know, to help me out. That's awesome. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, do you have any other questions, Dave? No, I'll pass it off to Connie at this point. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Pet the cat. Pet the cat. <laughs> okay. Pet the cat. Pet the cat. <laughs> Connie, you, what are your questions for your pet? Do you have a favorite apologist either for their a fairly well-informed argument or a comedic value or just the irritation level or maybe all three? <laughs> oh. Well, I, again, I'm going to have to – this without getting into too much historical detail, but I used to be on an um, email list for a, a, a skeptic who basically inspired me uh, named Farrell Till, if, if that rings any bells for you. He actually dedicated my – that big video I made about biblical uh, apologetics to Farrell. He died a uh, year and a half or so ago. And um, he used to get into these sparring matches with with that J.P. Holding, who was whose original name was was Robert Turkle. And uh, I used to love to watch those two guys go against each other. And as much of an asshole as this as J.P. Holding is, he will do research. And I and I and I that impressed me I, because most apologists just talk out of their ass. He at mm -hmm. least would reference material because he was he's a, he's basically a librarian. So the guy knows where to go reference stuff, and if you're if you're if you're too stupid, you don't realize some of the tricks that he pulls. But I, I can't say I admire him, but but I did like the fact that he would at least, you know, back up what he said with some reference, right? Right. Where you get those Kent Kent Hovens and and those and, and even Bob Ducos, and they'll just talk out of their ass. They don't they don't back <laughs> up what they're saying like by somebody else. So right. Yeah, but 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 to ask me, do I respect an apologist? No, I I. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't See, either. <laughs> I, I say I have a, I, a favorite opponent. Uh, yeah. And uh, what would be your favorite video that for yourself that you've produced? I, it, you know what? My favorite video uh, will probably be the one that's coming up. Th this one, this one uh, took a enormous amount of research. Um, and I was speaking, I mean, I had to do research in journals of seismology for this one. I had to speak to, uh, uh, professors and authors of, 
uh, certain archaeological books and topics for this one. And it, it, this one is, if this doesn't define what a Bible, what, what the Bible skeptic is, I'll, I'll be surprised. But I don't know if everybody else is going to get as, as a big a kick out of it as I did. Cause again, like what Dave was saying was that, that, that Bob Duke, that was popular, that Bob Duco thing. And that was just, that was not what I was, What's the word I'm trying? I'm not going to say it wasn't planned out because it was, but it was it a wasn't serendipity. Research, it was. <laughs> but yeah, it, yeah, exactly. But this one, th th this next series coming up is just really what I'm about. Let's put right. it that way. So, poured your, but, but, poured your but, heart and but, soul but, into it. So, it was, yes, yes. But yeah. my favorite one to date outside of that one would probably be that big, um, uh, uh, I forgot what I called it now. The uh, the failure or the the, the failure of the of apologetic hypothesis or whatever I called it. I can't remember what it was called. But anyway, that big two hour one that I made. I like that one. But mainly because I did that entire thing. That was my first attempt to do the entire thing using um, Creative Commons pictures, asking permission to use things instead of just grabbing them off Google image. And, all that. <laughs> and so that's one of the reasons why that one took so long is that there's absolutely no copyrighted material in it. And I had to do some. I filmed some of it myself in the in the back behind my kids' elementary school. And there's there, you know, there's <laughs> well, just you're back there with a the camera. <laughs> yeah, you know, there, there's there's some scenes in there where you're where, where you're wa where I'm where you're walking through a uh, a field and you find a rock. Well, that was behind the kids' school. You know? uh -huh. So there's just there's things like that. So that that one that one was that was one was rather interesting to make. And I and I kind of liked what I did with that one too. That's nice. That's really great. I. Well, I, I've been following you. I mean, we we both basically got on YouTube about the same time. It was funny. I was looking back and like, I've been watching your cha your channel since you first started, and I'm just you're excellent, excellent videos. And I love I love documentaries. Actually, <laughs> I will go and watch documentaries. You know, on Netflix and uh, oh, oh, and me so too. I find it interesting to learn you know new things. Um, so I and I appreciate I I just appreciate all the work you put into this. Uh, that you do, and I, I mean, I had other questions, and I think you've kind of answered some of them. Okay. If I had a, uh, d do you still have a, a blog somewhere at all? No, or do you, no, I, you know, I pour everything into this YouTube um, yeah. site, but, but my my ultimate dream is to, I, I would love to do this for a living. Um, I don't know how I could, but but it would mean the world to me if I could do this. Um, you know, for forever, you know, and for everybody, and just yeah. keep it, it just to dedicate all my time to doing this, guys. Then I would, I, w I would probably have more written things and 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 videos, and you know, probably write a book or something. I don't know, but um, <laughs> but 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 what I really want to say is to you and to anybody else who's listening and watching, I you have no idea how much I appreciate subscribers to the channel. And it, actually, you should know if you guys are doing YouTube, you understand what it means to have people subscribe to your channel. Oh, absolutely. It, it, it is the highest compliment you can give a video producer is to say, I want to be informed the next time you put something up. Right. There, there is nothing that motivates me more than when I see that, that you know, one more subscriber. It's just, it, it is so gratifying to have that. And so I want to thank everybody who, who thinks I'm worthy of a subscription because Absolutely. <laughs> again, I'm just some dude sitting in his basement making these videos because they're fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and while you're out there subscribing to Brett, be sure to subscribe to Packard Pokes at as well. That's Absolutely right, because we all love the subscription. That's right. That is true. Yes, I, I would like to. I would like to eventually be able to quit my day job and just do this all the time. Then I would do this every day. Then, <laughs> and then my hair would turn gray. <laughs> <laughs> so help it, my hair turn gray, everybody. Subscribe to Packard Pokes at and then. <laughs> that that sounds so bad. <laughs> There's a negative connotation there, I think. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, did you have any other questions? I think we could we pass the questions to the chat room. Absolutely. If we have any questions for the yeah. chat room. I'm reading. All righty. <laughs> Hello, Let's... Seattle. Yes. Do, 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 do. This is the this is the dancing <laughs> portion of the show. Oh, Dawkins Dog has subscribed to Brett's YouTube. Oh my God, Dawkins! Thank you so much. 
<laughs> he makes Good some. Art, he, Dawkins makes the artwork only, for the me. The question I have is why weren't you subscribed before? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually had uh, someone on the channel on the uh, <laughs> on, on my channel. He said that he didn't know how he missed you, and he's like, "I am subscribed as of now." So awesome! Yeah, oh, Joe. <laughs> Joe, Joe. Okay, it, again, not, not, Brett, not all right, Brett. All right, let me read the question because no one else because sure. this turns into a podcast. Like Joe goes, Brett, how much weed do you smoke before breakfast every day? Joe's good because he's from kinda, Colorado, right? Because he's from Colorado, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, again, not to bring the uh, um, what do you call? It? I, I probably have to ruin my reputation, but uh, I've never done drugs. I've never drank alcohol. Sorry, guys. <laughs> never drank? Oh, really? Never? No, none? Never, no, no. And this goes back to the old me. My body uh. was a temple of the Lord. Uh. And you would never have polluted. You never would have brought that stuff into the temple of God. Right. Why would you bring it into your body? So I, I grew up with that idea. And so I just never did. So my vice has always been women. I'm sorry. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our next question is from Finn Atticus. He says, how much research is enough research, Brett? Uh, until it's exhausted. Ah, that's a good reason. And it's just like, I cannot find anything more, and Pretty this much. is it. Yes. That's that's it. That's that, I, I Again, I, I don't want to be backed into a corner, and I don't like that. Oh, what's... Go ahead there. Uh, Karn uh, 33333 asks, what's the most ridiculous Christian argument you've ever gotten? Oh, we love these ones. Oh, God. Ugh. You know what? I, what, what, I mean, what? The ridiculous was, I think, I would probably say, were you there? Oh, I love that the, one. The, the, the Ken Ham, were you there? Yeah, I hate that. So that's probably one of the most ridiculous that I can think of off the top of my head. Okay. No, that's a, no. I, I like that one. That's one of my favorites also. We used that one on the, a couple of shows ago, actually, it was like, yep. because of the, the creationist reaction to Cosmos. Were you there? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Joe on scene in the chat room says, what's your favorite translation of the Bible to use? You know, because there's always those Christians yeah. out there, they say, oh, the King James Bible is the one, the only one. No, no, no. the NRSV, the uh, New Revised Standard Version, is probably the best as far as um, being as close to the a, a translation of the original um, mm. language as you can get without being politically correct, without trying to uh, gloss over. A difficult passages. So um, the the NRSV is used by most. Um, I, I don't want to use the word liberal, but non conservative seminaries. So uh, the NRSV is is my favorite. Uh, uh, another one. Joe Joe's got one here. Now this is a joke one. I'm sure he says, <laughs> "Why why do you hate God and what did he ever do to you?" <laughs> okay, that okay that is that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most ridiculous one. <laughs> I love it. When you know, you, you know what I was thinking today was, you know, you know how a religious person will ask you if you don't believe in God, they'll say, well, then what's, you know, why do you exist? Why does the world exist? Right. Why does the universe, right, right? And you got to come up with some reason. I, I've never heard anybody ask one of these religious people, it's like, why does God exist? I, I'd love to hear that answer. Why does God exist? <laughs> oh, I, I actually, I think I've heard one that one when I, I've asked them that one. They really? Said, well, to, yeah. Um, they said that God exists so we exist. Or, or, oh, uh, oh, my God. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so God needs us to exist. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I love that one. It's just bizarre. <laughs> uh, Joe, again, is asking another one. How much Satan did give you for your soul? <laughs> oh, okay. Then you, will let you Okay, wait a minute. That's not as funny as you think it is. I had a guy at work several years ago who was a believer and he found out that I did not believe, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, "Would you sell your soul?" And I said, "Yeah." And he said, "You got to be kidding me." And I said, "Nope." And he said, "Well, I'll give you five bucks." And I said, "Hey, that that works for me." So he gave me five bucks. I wrote on a piece of paper, you know, my soul. I wrote, you know, Brett Palmer's soul. Oh and he, my! He, to this day, this is about ten, twelve years ago. I, I ran into him, you know recently he still has it in his wallet oh my gosh i, I, I took that five dollars and i went to mcdonald's that day nice <laughs> i would have held out so for that's more how much that's how much i sold it for five bucks i i would have i would have held out for more because you know i'm, I'm poor uh <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I wanted it, to go to McDonald's that day. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Uh, uh, Final Atticus asks, who do you hate more, Ken or Kent? Uh, Kent. Kent? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because basically he took, he, he's not paying his taxes, which means a bigger cut got taken out of mine. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That's that. I, I hate it when the, the, these priests out there they they get off on not paying taxes. That just kind of yeah. it really irritates the fuck out of me. Yep. I'm trying to find some other ones. Yeah, somebody on there is telling me I should have used that money for porn. There you go. <laughs> I then did, it would have been worth it. I used it for food porn. Food porn. Yeah. Well, no, Hardee's is food porn. McDonald's is uh, just McDonald's. Just like that. That's that's the that's like not even that's not even like. Porn, that's just like that's like Cinemax in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey, Dawkins, Dawkins' dog is asking me if I don't believe in God, where do where do I get purpose for my life? My oh. subscribers, my subscribers. There you go, <laughs> yay! I missed it. Thank you for catching yep. that one. Let's see here. What what argument, oh. if there is one, have you had the most trouble refuting? That's a I had trouble refuting. Yes, I don't know. I don't know if I've had one. I I, I don't know. I, I I don't know of one that's kept me up at night. I mean, I've had ones that I've struggled with, but then I eventually come up with something. <laughs> right. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I've had anything that I, I can pick on, you know, or pick out of my brain right now. Joe again has got one of those typical Christian questions. He says, "Brett, what stops you from killing and raping everyone?" <laughs> Well, who says I haven't? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Restraining orders. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're assuming I have stopped doing that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because us atheists are always out killing and raping and murdering, you know, just because we don't believe. I just eat babies. <laughs> <laughs> Torvian, he says, my wife was heavy into religion. I showed her all the bad things in the Bible. She didn't throw away religion. She just accepted that the God she believes is a dick. <laughs> where where should I go from here? I, I kind of find it funny. I think she is close to disbelief now. You drop your pants and tell her to worship. <laughs> <laughs> worship the mighty cock. That old serpent. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Atticus, he said his soul is worth the dinner, at least at the Olive Garden. <laughs> Hold out for an ice cream cake from GQ, too. Hey, I'll take, I'll take Fazoli's. <laughs> That's how cheap I am. Hey, you know what the nice thing about selling your your soul is? Is you, you sell it to multiple people. They, they don't know that you don't have, you'd run out of soul. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's right. I'm all out of soul. I need more. Oh, my God. <laughs> I felt it. Oh, my God. I got these pains in my chest now. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, as I listen to James Brown and Marvin Gaye, I got plenty of soul to go around. There you go. <laughs> Karen wants you to go to the to uh, Chili's because they want baby back ribs, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your damn says, uh, what evidence would you accept to convince you that God does exist? Now, that's a damn good one. Yeah. <sighs> See, that's the interesting thing. We, we, we know what exists in the physical world, right? Right. And they're all finite things. And they're all, they're all not, you know, they all have, well, they're all finite. How do you evidence something that's infinite? I mean, infinite power, infinite goodness, infinite, you know, omni every, omni max. How do you evidence that? Right. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. So I, I guess it's like porn. You'd know it when you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But I, 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 again, I, I don't know because of, for, for that very reason. God is something that is so other that how would you know what it is? Exactly. Because you, you, you could always say, well, that's just a more powerful uh, alien race that we think is God. No, that's very true. I've, I've uh, heard you, that, too. Because there's, a, there's an old saying that any technology that's, that you don't, you don't understand is, is almost indistinguishable by, from magic. So. That's right. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what convinced people that, that, that God existed, you know, a thousand years ago, no longer convinces anybody. Right. So. Children, you know, babies and children. It's like, what's right. all that lightning? Oh, my gosh, it's so scary. It must be that's God. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, and then you learn it's like, it's just electricity from ions and neutrons and positrons and yep. megatrons and, 
And no, no that, wait, that's a, I'm getting into Transformers now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Joe has another question. Uh, yes, yeah, I see that. Oh, what wait, is, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Dawkins has a good one. Oh, yeah. He, is there any religion oh. that you would tempt you to purely uh, to, to uh, maybe start again? Is there any religion that would tempt you purely because of their teachings? Yes, Taoism. Taoism. Interesting. I love, yeah, I, I like I like it's more of a philosophy, not a religion. But I, I always like the idea that middle way of. You know, if if you're if you're going to be a blacksmith in the town, mm -hmm. don't be the best blacksmith because then the army will come and conscript you, and don't be the worst because you won't get any business. Just stay in the middle, duck your head, and do your job. <laughs> so I like that philosophy. Well, then I then I must be a Dallas because that's all I do. <laughs> yeah, <I love> <laughs> oh, Joe, yeah, Joe asked another question here. Brett, what do you think of the historicity of Jesus? Um, I'm firmly in the Bart Armin camp of I I believe I think there's good enough evidence that that Jesus existed as a as a historical person, um, uh, but the legends that grew up around him and the claims made for him. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, for me, obviously not true. I mean, he's not divine in in the sense that that Christians say that he is. Right. Um, so, you know, that that's kind of you know my take on the historicity. Again, I I think he existed. I think there was a person, uh, the person of Jesus, who existed uh, and was you know crucified. Um, but that was the end of his physical and any other existence in that sense. Mm. Um, and then he just continued to live in the the memory and the hope and the desire of those who who followed him and then you know heard of his teachings and then there was this uh, development of of making him divine okay because we we have David Fitzgerald David Fitzgerald thank you and he he wrote this great book uh he said that you know basically to boil it down that Jesus was a compilation of a lot of different people and they just well, kind of put together I, that, that, that is, as far as what we have in the New Testament, I don't doubt that that's true in the sense that they have taken ideas like, uh, I mean, one of the things I was thinking was, I, I made a video series about the, the, what, the, what the Bible got wrong of flat earth, mm. right? And mm -hmm. I frequently get these dick shits that come on there and mm -hmm. say, where in the Bible does it say specifically that the earth is flat? Oh right? yeah, that it actually that it actually has those words in it, and the retort is, well, where in the Bible does does Jesus say I am God? It, it doesn't. Right. right. There's nowhere that it says that. He never makes that claim for himself. Right? right. Those are claims made later, and if there's anything that even hints at the divinity of Jesus, it's all in the Book of John, mm -hmm. right? Which is a much later uh, uh, gospel written. You know, after after all this nonsense came around, right? Right. So. As far as being a compilation of other people, yeah, he's a compilation of different ideas. That, that mean, the Jesus that we have in the gospel, you know, in the, in the New Testament that more people believe in today, that he's a compilation of different ideas from the Old Testament. He's different from different ideas that were current in uh, Judaism at the time. Ideas of Paul, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Paul wouldn't recognize John's Jesus. That, that's not the same. I mean, there's there's different there's different Jesuses in there. If you again. You want a theory? You can find it. It's in there. You know, it'll just be contradicted by something else. So, oh, Karen in the chat room. Said, Jesus hates figs. It was there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> I I think it would be harder to to point out if he hated mushrooms. You know, like certain kinds of mushrooms. <laughs> Sometimes I think some of those people over there they were on mushrooms. That's why they were seeing some stuff. <laughs> Uh, Torvian says in the chat room there, what do you think when Jesus said, I am the morning star, and the Latin word for morning star as Lucifer? Uh, you or know what, I'd have to point to that, to that, to that uh, passage where he says, I don't remember him saying he was the morning star. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not familiar with that one didn't. myself. I don't remember that. I'm not really familiar with that one myself. Yeah. But that's what I like about being an atheist. I actually learn shit about the Bible, so then someone's spoon-feeding me what they want me to think about it. You know, that's what I... Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll look that one up, and Brett will make a video on it. <laughs> oh, we, well, well, it says in Revelation 22, 16. Well, let's... Everybody, get you out your Bibles. <laughs> right. I, I don't know how many atheist podcasts everybody started, all right, everybody's grabbing their Bibles, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 again, I, well, 
on the fly, um, I'd have to start pulling up some of my resources to look at that and see what morning star refers to but i don't know i i i I'd be honest with you i'd never run into that before so that that's kind of interesting i like that yeah have to go look that up absolutely all right we're going to take one or two more questions from the chat room and then we're going to i think we're going to get out of here because it's uh getting kind of late <laughs> yeah sorry about that phone. oh no 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 it's no 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 <laughs> i've got a question in there oh you do you i'm trying to find it here all right here it is what examples of interpret the interpolation have you come across that people might not be aware of? What examples are... Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> SpaghettiOs? I, you, you, well, <laughs> I was going to say, I, I can't think of anything right off the top of my head. There is something that I ran across that I that I thought was interesting as an interpolation, but I, 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 I'm drawing a blank. I, I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember what it was. Okay. But it was, it was one that I was not aware of, so... Um, but not, apparently not memorable enough for me to, to retain. <laughs> well, well, that was informative. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't give you a better answer. I mean, we, we weren't familiar with the passage, so That's right. hey. Working, working out, work, work, not working with a script, guys. Come right, there's here. no scripts here. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Any other questions? We'll take one more from the chat room. How about the classic, if uh, if you end up dying and at the pearly gates... Oh, no, oh. no not Pascal's wager. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's... What, you, what oh, would okay. you want God to say to you? What would you like to hear from him? Say, say that again? If if you did... If it turns out to be true, uh -huh. what would you like to hear God say to you? At oh, the that's... And what would you say to him? We're just going to yeah. add a Dawkins dog question. Well, what would you say it, to him? That, that, I'd answer well, that in two well, different well, ways. Well, one is the first way I'd answer it is is one of the ways that I've talked about the Bible that it's an that it's a, an uh, an idiot test. It's an IQ test. Mm. If you buy it, you don't get in. If you reject it, then God says, "See, that's the kind of guy I want. I want somebody who doesn't <laughs> believe this, right. right?" So, so that was you. Now, so that's one way to answer it. He that he would tell me, "Hey, congratulations, you didn't buy it. It was a test." Uh, but if they were right and everything in there was true, um. Dude, I'm fucked. I don't. <laughs> I mean, what, what would I? What would he say to me? He, oh, he'd be pissed because you know I, my channel and how many? I don't know how many people I may have turned away or helped turn away or will help turn away. Uh, dude, I'm burning. I'm burning bad. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking <laughs> of uh, burning bad here. All right, Fishhead still hasn't had a question, but this is the first one I think he's put in here so far. Uh, he says, if you ended up showing up. In front of God, how would you want to smell? <laughs> I smell good. I want to smell like strawberries because nobody gets rid of strawberries. <laughs> strawberries. Either that or a, either that or a tuna casserole. Because ah, uh, tuna we, casserole. We, we don't we don't turn down that tuna casserole, do we, guys? No, -uh, I like tuna casserole. I was like, ooh, uh, it's cooking tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, tuna casserole. <laughs> Those with ears, they shall hear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you, Brett, for showing up and uh, entertaining us tonight and with your presence and being here on the show with us and being the first show that you've ever actually decided to actually be on. And I, I hope we can get you on again uh, sometime in the future. Oh, that'd be fun. Yes. Yeah. No, this has been great. I, I, I appreciate the, the chance to come on here and and uh, feel very comfortable with everybody. Oh, great. Definitely have to have you come back again. And uh, we, we really enjoyed having you here tonight. And we had such a we had such a fun time. And definitely. Yes. And um, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Brett. Yes, definitely. Yes, thanks you, Brett.